By the way, you posted this to Instagram. This is an interesting <laughs> thing. This is a post that you, uh, you, you, Ozzy, it was too hot this summer, right? Yes. And so Ozzy ordered 3,000 pounds of ice to be <laughs> dumped in. Either ordered it or do you have a giant freezer? Which is no, it? No, he ordered it and it came in a big truck and one of those big cranes brought it in. It was fabulous. Just because the water was too hot. Too hot, he couldn't get it cold enough. And then, it st I mean, that melted in like, you know, two minutes. Yeah. And so now he's got a special machine put in the pool to make it ice cold. Is it possible you guys have too much money? <laughs> too bad. <laughs> no, really bad. <laughs> you also posted you missed, you, you lost your cat I and did. you put it up. And Tiger it's, Lily. Tiger Lily is the name yes, of the cat? Yeah. Did you find Tiger Lily? We did. Somebody oh. returned her really early in the morning. Oh, that's and, good. Uh, we just were so happy. Did you give out your address? How did they know where to bring the cat? I said, call CBS. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, I think people, because I went on the show and, and, and you spoke said, you about, about it, it yeah. Yeah, and people yeah. know where we That's great, her. because when you have a TV show, you don't have to put posters up in the neighborhood. I know. You just say, it's, <laughs> it's great. It is Wonderful. <laughs> so, no Rosie O'Donnell. You know, i got to tell you something about Go Rosie on. O'Donnell. I suggested to ABC that they replace Roseanne with Rosie O'Donnell, because I was like, you barely even have to change the name of the show. Yeah, yeah. The logo, think yeah. of just the money you would save on yeah. that alone. I think Rosie O'Donnell would be a, a good addition to that show. You I don't... think she would. I'm going to tell Sarah Gilbert. Because Sa Sarah is in charge. She's the boss. Although she does have problems with Rosie's in general. It seems like they, they <laughs> haunt her wherever <laughs> she winds up going. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's something that she's worried about. I don't know, but that's a very good idea. Thank you. Huh? Finally, somebody's acknowledged that I have some good ideas. You do. You do. <laughs> really good ideas. It's a lot of fun to have you here. Always fun to have you here. Are, do you, you ever go on the road with Ozzy? Do you go to All see the, the time. show? Yeah, when I'm, I, I finish work like on late Thursday and I just get on a plane, join him, and then come back for the Monday. Always. Do you still enjoy watching him perform on stage? More than ever. You I'm do. just so proud of him and I love to feel that audience, the way they love him and appreciate him. And it, there's nothing like it. It's, it's That's really magic. That's nice because me. I will tell you, for, uh, you know, we have a lot of bands here. And a lot of times, their husbands or wives will come along. And I noticed that nine times out of ten, the spouses are completely uninterested in their spouse's performance. They are doing whatever. They're, you know, talking to people or whatever. They don't want to see that song they do over for the, like, millionth time. They don't care. But you care. And I'll tell you what, Paul McCartney's wife is very interested. And I think you guys are the only two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love to see the adulation that he gets and the way he loves his audience and they love him. It's magic. I love it. Well, it's great to see you. Sharon Osbourne, everybody. The talk is every Wednesday morning on CBS. If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.